Well, coming up next, we'll explore the business behind medicine when I talked with one of South Florida's top chiropractic physicians, Dr. Stephen Horowitz. And in an interview taped earlier, I asked Dr. Horowitz what his innovative healing arts center was all about. You know, we have a multidisciplinary complementary health care facility. So what that means, David, yeah. is that not only do we have chiropractic services, but I have um, well-experienced licensed massage therapists that specialize in a variety of different type of massage techniques to help a patient. But additionally, not only do we offer chiropractic massage therapy, but we have a Pilates exercise studio that we use to rehabilitate patients. We offer acupuncture therapy and nutritional counseling. Wow. So you got one-stop shopping at your, at your health clinic, right? Exactly. And I feel that having those type of different types of services under one roof just offers, enables the patient to be able to respond better in terms of be able to custom tailing different types of therapies for them. Okay. I'm a senior citizen. I've said this before many times. I go out and play tennis sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'm a senior citizen, but I think I'm back 25 years old, and I try to go for shots, and it's just miserable. I've just pulled something all over the place. Can you help me when, uh, with, when I have injuries or something you know, like that? I get a lot of that, but you shouldn't feel badly it's for you. It <laughs> happens to people in their, in their teenagers and early 20s as well. But the reality is we have, we have someone like anyone who has any injury, we have you come in, do a complete consultation, examination, and assessment of the area of complaint, and then based upon what we find, make a treatment plan if it's medically necessary and reasonable, or refer to someone else if we needed to. Okay. Well, how long have you been in practice down here in South Florida? I've been here in South Florida for 23 years, David. Wow, that's terrific, Doc. That's really... So you've made a lot of contacts in the uh, medical community. I have, and that's uh, another great thing about <clears throat> having had a presence so long in South Florida uh, for Village Chiropractic Center. Uh, not only are we able to treat patients in-house, but should I need to co-treat with any do other do medical providers, I have a yeah. great network of well-qualified, respected neurologists, orthopedists, pain management, internal yeah. medicine, ENTs, yeah. OBGYNs that we can co-treat with to so, and communicate with so our patients get the best quality care possible. All right, so I come in and, uh, and you check me over and you say, listen, Dave, you got, yeah, we can help you, but you got to go to an orthopedic guide for a few, uh, future treatment. So that's pretty well, that's what happens? That could happen. It depends. Yeah. We look at each case individually and decide how to best treat it and what's in the best interest of the patient. Oh, that's great. That's, you, know, uh, you know, we're in a demographic, obviously, that you're, you're well aware of down there in South Florida where we got a, a, a lot of elderly patients with all kinds of wacko uh, <laughs> ailments. And most of them, are, there's a lot of them are sciatica. Do you, can you handle that? Yes. You know, I, that's a very common complaint that uh, brings patients to our office, David, sciatic pain. But again, we have to really be able to assess what's causing that sciatic pain. And we do that through, again, spending time with a patient, talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, because the patient right, will always yeah. tell you what's wrong with them if yeah. you take the time to listen. Yeah. And not only that, we do a very, uh, physical, a very thorough uh, evaluation, uh, physical examination of them, and order diagnostic testing, uh, uh, if necessary, to be able to determine what is causing that sciatic pain. How did you get involved in, in the in chiropractic medicine? Well, you know, David, honestly, my mother wanted me to be, yeah, I wanted to be a pediatrician, but, oh, my, but my mother kind of talked me out of that. Yeah. She was afraid I'd get calls all during the night. Like, and you like, would. And yeah. I would, you know, yeah. like a great moms like her calling me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, at the time, when it was, came to, to decide what type of healthcare professional I was going to become, uh, my dad was having terrible sciatic pain. Mm -hmm. And he went through the usual gamut of healthcare right. providers to try to help alleviate that. And, uh, as a last resort, he went to go see a chiropractic physician in New York, and, um, and he came back raving about the quality of care and how much benefit he was deriving, whereas he didn't have that appreciable effect before that. Yeah. And so I spent time with that individual and got to know a lot, a lot about the profession and became very pa passionate about it, and that became my field of endeavor and interest. Oh, that's great. Well, Dr. Horowitz, thanks for being here. No relation to Vladimir? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get to ask you right. quite often for you. Yeah, but anyway, do, God bless you. Thank you so Dr. much for having me. Thank you very much. Here. Thank okay. you. My pleasure. And stay with us. We'll return right after these words. It's the most wonderful sale. 